Storage here with the famous Harry Potter. Harry, I'm sure the audience as well as I would like to see your scar. Uh, oh, uh, okay, I, I guess. No, no, the other scar. Right, right, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that there's my scar, old Betsy. Mm -hmm. Harry, so tell me how your story starts off. Well, at the beginning of that year, I was having a really bad summer. It got even worse when my Aunt Marge came to visit. One evening, she was talking poo about my father. Well, I got really mad and I, uh, blew her up. Oh my gosh, so what'd you do about that? I ran. He has his friends, Hermione and Ron, to help him on the way. Hermione, what did you guys do at Di Diagon Alley? Well, we shot for a little bit. That's where I bought my cat Crookshanks. Nasty little bugger that one is. Ron, I don't remember asking you what you thought of Hermione's cat. I wasn't talking about her cat. <laughs> I was picking my nose. So what happens next, Harry? Well, that night, I heard Ron's mom and dad. They were talking about me. What were they talking about? About me. Okay, go on. Well, they were arguing if they were going to tell me that a psycho madman serial killer was out to get me. Was this man out to get you? Yes. It was Sirius Black. Seriously? No, Sirius Black. But I felt safe at Hogwarts. Hey, Harry. Harry. What room? Uh, tell them what happened on the train ride to Hogwarts. Well, Ron, I was... I believe I'm asking the questions here. So, Harry, what happened on the train ride to Hogwarts? Well, we got on the train, and we saw Professor Lupin, and we sat down next to him. And everything was going peachy keen until the train stopped, and the Dementors came on. Oh, I still remember the feeling that I had. And then I ate a whole bunch of chocolate. The Dementors were stationed right outside Hogwarts, so if they wanted to get in, they would- Ron, this is what you're doing. This is what I want you to do. Oh, 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 oh,
time about that Dementor thing, especially Malfoy. Well, 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 if it isn't famous Harry Potter, I heard you bloody fainted on the train. Just ignore him, Harry. How can I ignore him, Hermione? He isn't wearing any pants. Hey, you guys know why Slytherin House is going to win the House Cup this year? Okay, everyone, look at me. I'm famous Harry Potter. I'm afraid of a little Dementor. I'm a baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Professor Dumbledore, sit down, Malfoy. Pow! That's what you oh, did, Malfoy. Jerk. Uh -huh. Stupid. another year at Hogwarts. There are a few things I'd like to say to you and one that is very, very serious. I think it's best if we get it out of the way. Dumbledore doesn't look the same as last year. Yeah, I heard the actor died and they had to replace him. I think we should have a moment of silence for the original Elvis Dumbledore. <laughs> Ron! It wasn't me! Hermione! Let the feast begin! took a swipe at him. Of course, that's what started the chain reaction that almost got Buckbeak executed. So, Harry, tell me more about your class at Hogwarts. Well, in Divination's class, Professor Trelawney either predicts that a hot iron is going to pierce through my chest or something heavy, like a grand piano is going to fall on my head and crush it. So what about Professor Lupin? Lupin? Oh, he's great. He introduced us to Bogarts. And now I'm here with Professor Lupin. He is the... I am... My name is Professor Lupin. I am the motivational teacher of the defense against dark arts. Some idiot. Stupid. They're creatures that can turn into anything you're afraid of. So what did it turn in for you, Rod? A mirror? <laughs> no. A spider. I hate spiders. And what about you, Harry? A Dementor. I got even more scared of them. Because when I was playing Quidditch, they showed up on the field and I fell off my broom. Wow, you really are a whip. So, what'd you do about it? Oh, well Lupin said he'd teach me a spell that could defend them off. Knowing you, you probably mastered it right away, right? Not exactly. Alright! Okay, Harry, we've got to talk about something here. First thing I remember is about the Patronum, all right? You gotta go to a happy place, think of a happy thought, okay? Now, on the count of three, I'm gonna open up this door and expect an expectum Patronum. Ready? One, two, three. Come on. <laughs> Lupin, 
I hope my mom's dying again. Try it again, Potter! What did New broom, cause the old one was smashed. Ryan, shut your hole! It's shut. It's shut. So, Harry, tell me about your new broom. Well, it was Christmas morning, and Ron woke me up early. Presents! Harry, it's Christmas morning! Well, well. Presents! Presents! Baby wipes again. But go on, try it on! Go on! There you are! That's a boy! That, that's right! Go on! <laughs> try it on! It looks good! Baby wipes... Hey! What, what's this? Away. First, her cat eats up my rat, then she rats on Harry. What? I thought it was bewitched! At least she got back for the game against Ravenclaw. True. <laughs> the fireball did make Cho Chang look like a slug. <laughs> what? She's not a slug! You take that back! Oh, I forgot. She's your girlfriend! <laughs> no, she's not! Thanks to you. Then Professor Snape puts the ham on bread and eats it. Oh. It was disgusting. I I tell you. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she's wrong. <laughs> There's who, Harry? Cho Chang. Oh my gosh, she's coming this way! She's still coming. I got her, Harry. I saw this in a movie once. Just repeat after me. Oh, bloody hell, my face! Ha! Oh, I found 
found you! Oh, I found you! What? Don't you think you'll get away that easily? Don't you think you'll get away that easily? I've been looking all over for you, dirty rat! I've been looking all over for you, you dirty rat! Excuse me? Oh, shut it! Oh god, you smell like sewer! Oh god, you smell like sewer! What are you talking about? Don't you snap at me like that! You're lucky I don't punch you in the face! Don't you snap at me like that! You're lucky I don't punch you right in the face! <sighs> oh, it's getting hot in here. I'm gonna take my clothes off. Um, it's getting hot in here. I'm gonna take my clothes off. What's going on, Harry? Um, What's in your blacker? Oh, oh, hi, everybody. Uh, you must be Cho. The pleasure's mine. Uh, I must be going. Funny. She doesn't look Asian. Run! You look good. Earlier you told me something about Hogsmeade, so tell me about your experience there. Well, originally I wasn't supposed to go to Hogsmeade because I didn't have my permission slip signed and the fact that black everyone thought that Black was out to kill me. Look what I brought back from Hogsmeade. Bernie boss every flavored beans. They mean every flavor. Oh, strawberry. What's wrong with strawberry? Strawberry and hairy pimply back. Oh. How do you know what pimply back tastes like? <laughs> As I was saying, Originally, I wasn't supposed to get into Hogsmeade, but thanks to my invisibility cloak and a map I got from Fred and George, I was able to use a secret passage to get into Hogsmeade. Malfoy almost caught us one time, although Harry was underneath the invisibility cloak. It's a pity the cloak doesn't hide your excruciating bad body odor. W were you talking to me? No, the ugly one on your right. Who, me? No, Scarface. Me? Right. Right or left? Or both? I meant correct. Correct left or correct right? Or both? Just shut up! Shut up! Shut up left, or shut up right, or both! Wait a minute! Who's on first? Quiet! <laughs> okay. Harry, what happens next? <laughs> I beat the bear. My grandma bought me a glass bird. Bird. Ladybug. Bird. Now we smell like ladybugs. Ah! It's serious black. Who you calling black? Ah! Uh -huh.
I'll take care of it. Stop it. I said stop it. Stop it, bro. Oh, you're going crazy. What are you doing here? Stop. What are you doing? Sorry about that, folks. Ron, are you okay? Anyways, Harry, what happened next? Well, we went on the invisibility cloak and we went to Hagrid's. But he sent us away because that very night, the Ministry of Magic was there and they were going to cut Buckbeak's head off. Where was Sirius Black the whole time? We were about to find out. Crookshanks jumped up and stole Scabbers out of Ron's pocket and led him to the Whomping Willow. We had to chase him, but a huge dog came out of nowhere and tackled Ron. <laughs> and, and he dragged him uh, by his coat into the Warwick Willow. And... Ah! <laughs> he dragged him and Ron tried to get away by wrapping his <laughs> By wrapping his leg around the tree, but the dog pulled so hard it broke his <laughs> leg. <laughs> oh goodness! <laughs> broke his leg. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very funny. Well, we followed Crookshanks into a tunnel, and the tunnel led into Hogsmeade. That's where we found Sirius Black. Did you see Sirius Black when you got there? Yes. But then Professor Lupin came down, and we were like, you were working with him the whole time. And he was like, no, I wasn't. And we were like, yes, you were. Don't lie. And he was like, no, I wasn't. I'll prove it to you. So me, Ron, Hermione, we asked Sirius what he wanted. And he said, I want the rat. Did Sirius say what he wanted? Yes, he wanted Scabbers the rat, a.k.a. Peter Pettigrew. Then Sirius told us how he escaped from Azkaban, how he didn't betray my parents, and how the rat that was in Ron's pocket was a full-grown servant of Voldemort. Sirius escaped from prison not to kill me, but to kill Peter Pettigrew. In revenge, I'm putting him in Azkaban, and he would have done it too. But then Professor Snape came down, and Hermione, she blew him against the wall, and he became unconscious, and we dragged him out to the Weeping Willow. So you, Hermione, Ron, Sirius Black, Snape, Peter Pettigrew, and Professor Lupin came out of a huge tree to tell Dumbledore that Sirius Black, a convicted murderer, was not guilty, but a rat betrayed your parents who were killed by Lord Voldemort? Yeah, that pretty much sums it all up. Well, it's a pretty good ending to the story. Oh, it's not over yet. Just then, Lupin started to shake, and he turned into a werewolf. Sirius had to turn back into a dog to fight him off. Then, out of nowhere, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Dementors came and attacked Hermione and me. They were going to perform the Dementors' kiss on me. But then, from across the lake, came a shining white stag, or should I say, a castrated adult male deer, and it chased off the Dementors, but then I fainted. The last thing I remember was it returning across the lake to meet a person. It looked like my father. What happened to Pettigrew, Lupin, Sirius, and Snape? Well, Snape woke up to bring Sirius to the Minister of Magic to have him kissed by the Dementors. Lupin went back into the Forbidden Forest so he wouldn't hurt anyone else. And Pettigrew, well, he got away. That dirty rat! I woke up in the hospital, and the first thing I remember is serious, is innocent, and he would be kissed by a Dementor if I didn't do something about it quick. What did you do? Well, me and Hermione, we went to ask Dumbledore what... Get out! We went to ask Dumbledore what Sorry. we should do, Wait. and he said... Sorry. 
Well, May, May, well, May and Hermione, we went to ask Dumbledore what sh we should do. And we went to ask Dumbledore what should we do, and he told us to go back in time to save Sirius and Buckbeak. Well, May and Hermione, we went, we went to ask Dumbledore what we should do. Oh, and he told us to go back in time to save Sirius and Buckbeak. And me and Hermione, we we went back in time, and when the, we saw the Dementor, we get out of the way of the camera. I told you a million times. I told you never, ever. I told you. I I, I told her. I told her never, never. I told you. I told you. Did you end up saving them? Yes. But it wasn't easy. First, we had to go back to Hagrid's house and we had to untie Buckbeak. Then, we waited outside the Whomping Willow for us, from the past, go in and come out. We then waited for Lupin, from the past, turn into a werewolf, from the past, and Pettigrew, from the past, get away. Then, we saw the Dementors, from the past, attack us, from the past. It was at that moment when I realized it was me, from the present, and not my father, who was dead, saved us from the past, from the Dementors from the past. So, me from the present, gave a perfect expecto patro- Sure, no. Hey, this isn't my wound. Oh, my left eye! Ah! Oh, wait, I don't have a left eye. I'm a Cyclops. Stupid Cyclops. Anyway, we had to wait for Snape from the past to wake up and bring us- from the past, back to the castle. We then flew up to Sirius's window, which was in the present, or the past, or, wait, scratch that and reverse it, or vice versa, etc. We then had to fly up to Sirius's window, and we freed him and Buckbeak. And they flew up into the horizon, and I didn't see him again until the fourth book. The Goblet of... The Goblet of Fire! And that really is a good ending to the story. Harry, he found out he had a godfather, someone who cares about him. Hermione, she got good grades on her exams and told off Malfoy and still looking good. And that's all. Thanks for coming, you guys. Thank Thanks. you, Garvey. Wait a minute. What about me? What about you? Well, I thought you'd have something nice to say about me. <laughs> you had something nice to say about everyone else. I just... I was... I was so happy to go to Gryffindor because I knew that you guys would be my friends. I I went to all of Harry's Quidditch matches. He's not even that good. I'm sorry, Harry. I just... You can't catch a snitch for crap. And I just... Over the summer, we had that nice old get-together. We all ate Pop-Tarts, which had nothing to do with what I'm talking about now. But when... I. <laughs> I just love you guys so much. I just, I want to be with you forever. And I expect you have something nice to say about me. Especially after spending a week and a half doing absolutely nothing, filming this piece of crap. I mean, the Sorcerer's Stone, you guys will like this. Chamber of Secrets, and this. I doubt I'll even get an invitation to the cast party. I love you guys. Just be my friends. <laughs> Won't you just be my friends? I... I... Uh, what would you... What would you do with Hermione and Ron? We will not let you go. Let him go. We will not let you go. Let me go. We will not let you go. Let me 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 go. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. Beelzebub has a devil put aside for me, for me, for me.
Now we're here with the Hogwarts Sorting Hat. He was responsible for sorting the first year students into their houses. So, Mr. Hat, why weren't you in much of the third book? Well, Gob, I uh, don't really have much of a choice. You may have noticed I'm a hat. I tend to go where people put me. Where were you when all this excitement happened? I was on Dumbledore's shelf, as usual. I'm a hat. I don't move much. And finally, what do you do on your free time? Well, Gob, I enjoy playing chess. I like to ride my tricycle. I like to eat ice cream. I like to go swimming in the lake. Naked. I like to stare at the sun. I like to watch old women do backbends and slip on the ice and crack their neck in half. I'm a hat. I don't move at all. I just sit there by myself all alone. <laughs> I like to eat ice cream and watch little girls frolic in the sun. Look what I brought back from Hog Augment. Bernie bought. 